Hello and welcome to Fest2 Live. My name is Frank and today with Jose. Hello Jose. Hi Frank. We nice will to be here. We'll, we'll show you the new products spring, what we will launch today. And this is not a joke, a, a, a first of April joke. Easter, <laughs> Easter presents, <laughs> right. Easter eggs. This is, this is real. So we will show you the new products. And uh, before we start with that, um, a small story. Jose, look at this. You know I what this is? I get my uh, my heart gets warm <laughs> when I see this. My also because this was my first <laughs> machine. Mm, for me, the same. <laughs> same. <laughs> first machine I bought with my own money was this one. <laughs> right. In, in all the range. So this is also with that machine I start my career with a Kevin Mega Joiner, and um, unbelievable. So the ATF first real plunge cut saw with that guide rail yeah. the classic guide rail classic one fantastic also and also for carpenters <coughs> this is a great tool absolutely and in that direction we show you now the yeah latest generation today and we will see a little bit later but you have also some time or something with I you i have also some something prepared um it is not the old one. I have also, uh, this is my personal uh, drill. <laughs> and today we will show you the, the, the new quad drive TPC and TDC coming now April 1st. And I think cool. this is a perfect double. Cut something and then you drill and screw and um, fix uh, or mount it. So Everybody knows and needs a circle saw and, and drill. a drill. So now let us start with the circle saw. And you see here the TSK55. What does it mean, K? And for that, I have here two <coughs> TSC K. Sorry, TSC K for cordless. And I have here two guide rails. And uh, you see here some marks on the guide rail. Huh? <laughs> and uh, why I have these marks on the guide rail? And when I ask my colleague, uh, the carpenter, Jose, do you know kickback on the <laughs> on your job and you work with the uh, plunge cut saw mm. or the circle saw? I never had one <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody said no, no <laughs> idea. I have never had kickback. But when you look on these guide rails from these guys, <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe this mine looks similar. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, and. For me also. So uh, sometimes, you know, it's it's uh, independent what kind of application do you have, and you go too fast with your plunge cut saw into the material or with circle saw, then it comes to a kickback, so the saw jumps out, and uh, normally it's only a little bit the workpiece damaged or here the guide rail. In, a in some cases, in a really bad cases, you have issue with your fingers, and it is. Really horrible, of course. Not but nice. <coughs> yeah. But now, our masterpiece. Uh, significant. Better. Better. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> because we have now here this kickback system inside. What does it mean? So when I go too fast with my plunge cut saw into the material and the whole blade lift up a sensor gives here a stop to the whole motor so that it stops in to uh, less seconds, so in, in, in milliseconds. And then you have no kickback or what? No kickback. And how that works, I can show you live now. Wow, cool. Yeah. So of course, we work now with the two batteries, so the 5.2 batteries. I can use one, it works, but two is much better, so you have 36 volt. And then uh, you have the <coughs> full power for it is like the, the, the corded version. Right, 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 exactly. And then everything is adjusted. So I hold the saw in with both hands and then I go really quick into the material so that you can see how that works with that kickback system. So don't worry, everything goes safe. Oh. So you see? 
in really less seconds, the saw blade stops, and what I like, you have nothing on your guide rail, and much more That's important cool. is nothing on my hands or on my body or something rare. And also I think not, not even a heart <laughs> uh, attack. attack. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And this is really, really helpful. But now you have to you change something when inside. When you work. There's something changed inside and how that looks like. But do you have to change the blade or something? Comes later. Ah, okay. But before I show you the blade, I will show you how that works inside. And for that, I have uh, prepared a small uh, video. So let us look a little bit to the video. I come to the other side. The camera can maybe switch. So you can see here the movie. And you see here the plunge cut saw, here the previous plunge cut saw, and here you see how that works with that kickback, and here's no kickback. And now we come a little bit closer, and you see here these kind of feeler. And I stop the movie, and you see, we go a little bit back, just a moment, so here. You see here that feeler, and when comes the whole blade up and the feeler goes down, automatically comes here to a contact in the sensor. And uh, Frank, just a question, is, there, is this a riving knife or...? <coughs> in the past was a riving knife, of course. Ah, okay. But now we have here this uh, feeler for more safety. And you see here that small ah, green knob. And here comes that feeler in contact to that green knob. And that is the sensor. You saw it? Mm -hmm. uh, so we go back a little bit here. Uh -huh. And that is exactly the point when it comes to this uh, stop, so that it's everything is safe. So we so the machine lifts up, <coughs> right? The machine lifts up, and then stops directly. That's cool. And you see that uh, the, the workpiece is not damaged at all. Absolutely. I think a really cool thing. Protect your workpiece, and of course, minimize the. Yeah, the risk of uh, insurance from your hand, absolutely. And when you have the kickback, <coughs> then you can just go for it. Exactly. So there's nothing damaged, so I can start again. Uh, absolutely no damaged. But we have also much, much more. That means we change also the saw blade. So for your understanding, uh, in the past we worked with saw blades. These saw blades are 2.2 millimeter thick. Here we have now thin saw blades, and these saw blades are only 1.8 millimeter, and that helps us to make really yeah, faster cuts, and we have also less dust. And uh, this is uh, really, really convenient when you work with the kind of material. I like <coughs> also, because I, have I use a lot of the HKC mm -hmm. or the HK, and they, they have the same diameter. Right. Uh, and this is a, a good uh, comment because you can also use these uh, saw blades on the HKC, for example, or HK55. But I want to show you how that works with that saw blade because but is it is it <coughs> um, with these when it's thinner? The pr um, is it not really uh, like wobbling, wobbling or, or something else? The blade. No, that is exactly the point, and I want to show you now. So I use my guide rail, of course. This is also same adjusted with the uh, two knobs here on the side that I have uh, play, fr play free uh, uh, movement. And uh, now I mount my back, dust back here. Of course, I can use also uh, dust extractor, but for that small cut, yeah, I show you that you here in that way. When it's cordless, it's nice to have to be right. free. <laughs> right. So I want to show you now. <coughs> so, I like that really. You have a really nice cut, splinter free, really nice, and also fast because we have a really thick material, a mixed with cross cut and also long the grain cut and that is helpful with that kind 
of saw blade. So we change a little bit the carbide from these uh, teeth and also the geometry. And for that, I can Jose, show you, that. you can show that on the screen. So we split over to him. So this <coughs> uh, saw blade um, has these three kind of different teeth here, uh, what Frank um, said. Um, so we have the, um, the two angled teeth and additionally we have these roof um, teeth um, form it. Right. And this gives us a, like uh, a perfectly line and keeps it stable. Right. This is that uh, straight cut uh, possible with that uh, tease. But for your understanding, we had <coughs> we have this only on that uh, on that saw blade. So the other saw blades, what do you see also? And uh, I recommend all so these. Uh, saw blade with that less tease, that one. So we, we say also sometimes punter saw blade for that. With uh, less tease, this is ideal for these um, long um, cutting along the, um <coughs> sorry, along the grain. Yeah, when you uh, have massive <coughs> wood or something like this. Right. Yeah. A little I bit think dusty. everybody <laughs> should have this. <laughs> 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 then we have here the universal saw blade. This is perfect when you work with uh, USB boards, for example, chip boards. Then of course the red one, you know it for the pl uh, laminate, lam laminate uh, the blue one for aluminium, and we have here the green one with only yeah three four uh, knives for the building materials uh, like a plasterboard or something else. This is uh, like a diamond mm. diamond right. blade. So now what is new on this on our masterpiece? I will say the kickback and also a new generation of saw blades for a really nice uh, straight cut. But you know, we have also our corded TS55. And on the corded TS55, call it now F, stays for facelift, we have here also possibility to use this new generation of saw blades. So you can also work with the thin saw blade and you have the same performance like the TSK uh, with the cutting performance and this is nice and perfect I think. Does this have also the, the kickback? <coughs> Good question uh, Jose. We don't have here the kickback on the TS55F uh, because here we work with a, with, a, with a standard motor so this is, a, this is not a precious motor and for that um, we cannot mount this technology from kickback inside. So now we have this kickback function only in the cordless version. I see. Okay. That's it. Nice machine, I would say. I hope I you know that you know <laughs> that you need now <laughs> that one. <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think you should um, consider and upgrade to this one. I think it's really nice. What you also should consider to upgrade the drill. Now it's your topic. <laughs> because um, this yellow, uh, this 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 orange tool. This is I remember. <laughs> I I I it's mine, um, and it still works, and I I still love it. Um, it it went through hell a little bit <laughs> with me and <in> my uh, <laughs> time as a carpenter, and even fall a roof and still works. Yeah. And okay. I really like it. Um, there are some things who um, maybe um, you can do better. Um, so this was the beginning of the quad drive. Ca we started with the Pro Tool mm -hmm. in 2008 and then came to Fast Tool 2013. So for your understanding, Pro Tool was in the past also uh, yeah, a company in, in, in Fast Tool. Uh, so in the whole Fast Tool group. So this was always more or less in Fast Tool hands. <laughs> yeah, <I'd laughs> in the family. <laughs> in the family, right, right, right. Yeah, so the fast tool pdc um also great drill um and but we know that we can do something better with it and now we it's time to step up and now we launch in uh today we launch the tpc the t-handle percussion this cordless this drill looks, this looks really nice so when you look here so we have here also rounding edges this is uh yeah looks looks really modern and uh, this, by the way, is the, the, <laughs> the version without percussion. Ah, okay. So we have two new models, mm -hmm. one with the percussion and one without percussion, TDC and TPC. Okay. 
really nice drill and what is really the nice um, new things here I want to show you here you see that we have an, a new design of the, of the shifting so we can really directly change the gear mm -hmm. so we have still have four gears and you can sh uh, shift from any gear to any other gear and here we have a really robust four gear m uh, gearbox or a metal gearbox and inside a really nice and strong EC Tech brushless motor of the latest generation. Okay. And so this is, I think, many of you guys you who are used to the PDC will appreciate this new um, shifting concept. Yeah, absolutely. And also the, the the power. And do you want to see it? The power? Yeah, of course, of course. Let let me let me see the power. So what I really like here is the the power in in the second gear so here we have up to 40 percent more torque and this is optimal uh, optimized for these kind of eight millimeter screws and you can turn them in in the second gear before it was like you, you sometimes you had to shift down the ah first gear mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now you can stay in the second gear and look at this Ooh. <laughs> really fast, <laughs> really fast, really fast in the second gear. So you have a uh, you have a little bit, uh, yeah. It's reserve. <laughs> yeah, you have reserve exactly. It's more powerful than the older one. Uh -huh. And this was eight millimeter. You can do even bigger screws, um, ten millimeter or twelve millimeter. Oh. But then you need to change to first gear. But for what do I need if the four the fourth gear or the third gear? Good question. So so one and two are more like for screwing applications. So okay. bigger screws, um, and then three and four is more for drilling. Ah, so Foster drills or something else. Yeah, I can I can show you that. I will check here the. This is also really nice. I could do this all day. Be, be careful, there are screws inside. <laughs> yeah. I've so, this is on. We can che check the fourth gear. Are you ready? Yeah. The camera can switch, maybe. Look at that. And this is really nice when you have a drilling application and have you have a high speed as well. That mm -hmm. this gives you a clean cut mm -hmm. and um, a really nice result. Cool. So four gears for a lot of different applications. Easy tech motor, enough power for the whole day. Yeah. What is also new on that system or on the tool? Um, a really nice thing is that you can use this machine now with a lot of accessories we have. Okay. Um, so here I brought uh, some accessories with it, but first of all, I will show you how this works. Mm -hmm. So maybe the camera can um, take this. So here I have the T18. I think. Uh, yeah, this is the cabinet maker yes, tool. Exactly. <laughs> or the C18, maybe you know it also. And all of them, they have these bayonet lock in the front it's it's perfect for these uh, jacks for these angle jacks exactly so i have here the um, this one maybe you uh, you use this a lot yeah we we know that yeah and then you can put this in yeah. i will show that but y if you check here now on the new one we have the same locking system and we have here the neck mm -hmm. so we can use all of our existing attachments cool and even more um which I show you here. So we have here, <coughs> by the way, these are like always in the delivery content. Mm -hmm. um, the Central Tech chuck and also here a uh, Jacobs chuck. Mm -hmm. This is a really robust metal one. Metal one, you see it, yeah. And then there are coming new attachments, these two. We have here angle attachment. Mm -hmm. And you see here that this is also with these bayonet locking mm -hmm. mechanism and now we can just click it on lock it mm -hmm. by turning here and this check this up this is really nice hey click so click click so you don't remove it 
You don't, don't have, have to, to remove, remove it, it exactly, cool. and then you can put it in the direction you want. You can yeah. put the attachment you want, well and you have a bit inside, yeah. And you can use it for the C and T18 as well. That is clever. So this is um, one of the new attachments, and the second one is the eccentric attachment. Mm -hmm. This is will be also new. Um, now we have the possibility to use it in eccentric attachment to this quad drive because before it was not possible yeah yeah right i remember and check this up this is really nice this is also good so and uh, the, the big benefit of that tool is that you can also make holes really close to a wall or to a side from a cabinet or something else exactly so new attachments you can use for the new quad drives and as well for the c and t18 super this I have to say that these ones are not <coughs> available now. They will come only a little bit later, so okay. in, in um, June. But I can order it. You can, yeah, you can order it. Right. But you have to be a little bit patient. Yeah, yeah. So nice new attachments and then the standard ones we already have, you yeah. can for sure use. And this makes it really versatile. Ah. And <laughs> last but not least, you can also use it as a drilling machine in a drill stand. So because of the 43 millimeter neck, it also fits in drill stand. And w I already told with the uh, yeah. gears, gears and fast speed is really That means that really nice. in front is exactly the diameter, uh, what do you say, 40 43 three millimeter. millimeter, and fits in that kind of uh, adapter for these uh, yeah, tools, yeah. super. So new attachments and also we have a <coughs> huge range of accessories. I know it also. But there are some some news on that. Yeah, because exactly. So yeah. Wha what we have new here are these ones. So yeah. we have here the the bigger auger drill bits. And they come here now in this nice little transparent lid sustainer. Mm, nice. And um, we have, these are new and this is all all existing material. Mm -hmm. So we have drills for stone, drills for wood, countersink drills, forstner drill bits, bit holder, and, and, and anything. That countersink with that big or long uh, drill. This I one? Thi I think that, that is that for terrace decks. This is specially made for terrace decks, exactly. I will put it here mm -hmm. uh, with a long drill. And when you work with these hardwoods, um, like these tropical woods, yeah. then it's really yeah. it's often yeah. you have to drill it's before cool. screwing, and yeah, and you t you need that to use that, of course. So super, you see, it's really really versatile the drill, and <laughs> now the best <laughs> the best thing at the end, it's even safer than before. Okay, so we improved. Also the ergonomics and the handling, and we have here now this new um, handle, uh -huh. and with the security um, lever here, so you have to. So it's also green. So there's a function detail. <laughs> yeah, you have to push it back, and then okay. you can put it on, and then and now it's it's you don't lose it anymore. Mm -hmm. But you you have to tighten then, or exactly. Now I tighten it, and now it's really ah, okay. fixed. Mm -hmm. And now. Um, yeah, you can put it in the any direction you want. Yeah. And the really nice, cool feature now is here the, the kickback stop because oh, I have also kickback a kickback stop. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> kickback stop here, kickback stop here. Uh, we have also a little symbol here. And check this out. W what happens when sometimes you drill or you screw and then you get a little impact um, and it it really hurts yeah, uh, a little bit as I well. I think on everybody the of us uh, knows this situation. Can you can you show that how that yeah. works? Yeah, and this is really nice. Check this out. Oh, automatically stops. That is really helpful. I know that when I work in that position, uh, and then you have. Yeah, or sometimes on the ladder right. or on the roof. Uh, it's it's not really. Um, this can be d can be uh, really dangerous Absolutely. as well, yeah. and I will show you how this works. We have also a nice animation. Oh, cool! Uh, so we want to look for this uh, another movie. So the 
Now it works. So here, nice, nice animation. This is a common um, application where these kind of kickbacks happen with these whole thaws. And you see that it automatically stops. And inside there is a sensor who which is responsible for the detection of this uh, movement. And then the electronic passes to the motor and stops the engine. Woo. <laughs> so <laughs> really nice, <laughs> nice uh, features. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then there are some some other little features and improvements, like for example uh, the belt clip. Yeah. Now you have a metal one; you can put it on your belt and holder, maybe a uh, uh, bit holder on the side. The little bit bit garage on both sides. Yeah. Really, really nice feature as well, and. Here on the back, you have the steering wheel for torque settings and also light settings. Mm -hmm. So you can super do plenty of stuff with these uh, nice new machines. So, Jose, we do a little bit summary about that tool. So first, we have here a really uh, powerful machine with this I new think I think the gear best the best is the, really the gearbox yeah the, the new gearbox shifting concept here and in combination with the increased power with that EC motor the, the new newest process generation. motor yeah mm, generation yeah second we have here lots of possibilities <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely new attachments and I like that you can change it also to the T18 uh, and C18. Yeah, and it if you already are in the system, yeah, that you, is perfect. you stay Fast in the system. system. And last but not least, we have the increased security features. New handle and kickback stop. Kickback stop is a good, good uh, word because we have here also, you remember, kickback stop and also the new saw blade generation also on the previous model, but not on the previous model, on the TS55F on the facelift model, so that you can work also with that uh, uh, thin saw blade really quick and easy. I have one question. Yeah, sure. Because I, I personally have the older model. Of mm -hmm. Not the, the this one I already sold, mm -hmm. but the, this one. Mm -hmm. Can I use the new saw blade with that? No, because we have here other uh, riving knife. Ah, okay. So you need another driving knife and this is not possible to, to uh, change that. Yeah. So we recommend when you want to use these kind of saw blades, please buy these saw. Yeah, but and it's, it's a really nice, nice <laughs> machine with a <laughs> kickback. I think I, you should we all should upgrade. And <laughs> last but not least, of course, please think about the service all inclusive. And you know, when you buy one of this machine or two or three of that machine, please uh, register it. At least two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> resist resist re register. Register uh, these tools that you are safe because then you have all these uh, top service. Uh, three year, all inclusive, right. warranty all inclusive. That's it. Thank you very much, Jose. Thank you very much for watching us. Have a nice Eastern and bye bye.